China, never met her before. Who cares? When you drop, get your jacket as you came through the door. No one glares. According to our new rival, life is more than mere survival. And we just might live a good life, yes. The second or third greatest uh, catcher in the history of baseball. Bob Euchre, who is George, and Eileen Graff, who is Marcia, who was the fourth best catcher in the history of baseball. And there is the adorable face of Rob Stone, who never caught in baseball. There's Kevin. Tracy Wells, the fifth best kick catcher in baseball, Thank plays Heather. Bryce Beckham, who is just in AAA baseball and is on a ball right now, who plays Wesley, and of course, the all-time number one catcher. No, no, no. Yes. Cricket, no. cricket. Cricket, yes. Sex cricket. symbol in the 90s. Uh, what would we call you? A, what would we call a cricket player? Cricketeer? No, no, a cricket player. You're a cricket right player. Right. Okay. You're right in the first place. Uh, Cricketeer. The esteemed well, actor who plays Mr. Belvedere, here is Christopher Hewitt again. Welcome to all of you. Now, Uke, yeah. when they called you and they said, we want you... Where would I be reading off of? No, no, that's not what that is. <laughs> We're on our own now. Okay. <laughs> like dying in line. We do it all the time. Yeah. No revisions. Yeah. Yeah. Nervous. Do you okay. When they called you and uh, said, gee, we want you to do this uh, sitcom, at that point you had gained your notoriety, certainly not as a baseball player, but as a storyteller <laughs> and as a baseball announcer and as a humorist. What was your reaction about doing this kind of show? Well, I had... Uh, uh, been contacted by uh, the people from the Hall of Fame, uh, too, to, uh, for the induction ceremonies at the same time that I was contacted by the people. <laughs> and being in California, closer, uh, why not go to California instead of going to uh, upstate New York uh, to Cooperstown? I thought this would be a lot closer for me. And uh, so you that's can basically what In other words, here. the reason you're not in the Hall of Fame is because you decided... I don't have time now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too much in demand for that kind of stuff. Uh, Christopher, do you, do you understand baseball? You no. No. Yeah. no. I understand the filthy words that I hear from up. Bob. He teaches me the most extraordinary language, <laughs> which I understand when I've used in public has not been well received because it's very dirty. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I keep coming back to him and I said, why do people hit me when I say that word? And he said, well, you shouldn't use it in front so of ladies. <laughs> Bryce, you were how, how old when the show started? I was eight. Oh, the voice is oh, yeah. all the voices. Yeah. It's mature. Yeah. It's a mature guy now. And so how old are you now? You're I'm 13. 13. Well, you yeah. have really grown up on the show. Yeah. Huh? Uh, five years, so. How do you feel about the adults on the show compared to the way you felt about them when the show started? Careful. Uh, you're surrounded. Uh, uh, they're great. All right. No, no, really. They're, they're, they're all a lot of fun, you know, and they're like. They're like my mom and dad and my housekeeper. And they're all <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My housekeeper? Yeah. I think the interesting thing about Bryce is folks don't know he's doing the show yet. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen him in five years. So this is going to be, I'll see him now. Here's your kid. I'm, I'm always behind the couch. You know? yeah. they, can't, they can't see me over the back. <laughs> and you guys really get along. Great. I mean, it appears that you do. I don't think you're acting right now on, on this very show. It's kind of strange that it's such a disparate group of right. people. We all come from very different places and different kinds of backgrounds. And somehow, the, they threw us together over yeah, there, right. and, and it, it seems to work. I'm, I've often thought, did Christopher Hewitt ever think he would be friends with a guy like this? Mm -hmm. Probably not. <laughs> and vice versa, I might add. Yes. But they just make each other laugh constantly. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a lot of fun. We yeah. really do. And as I think, time so, I get to laugh when there's a new script. <laughs> it's hearing Bob read it <laughs> <laughs> because he makes me laugh. Truly, he does. Well, but Yuki's funny. Oh, he's just funny. Truly yeah. funny. I wish Did I could. Did you watch be... him play baseball? He was really yeah. funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's where this all started. Listen to him. Uh, whatever you do, with those little mice. 
is so fast, I don't understand the word call it broadcasting in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, I wouldn't call that Tracy, no. yes. we have uh, watched you grow up on the series. We also watched you grow up here on AM because you've been on the show as many times living through the problems and the trials and tribulations of being an adolescent. How, where are you today in your life? Can you describe that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Christopher, <whoa. laughs> Christopher would like to, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, no, I'm great. I'm having a great time. I mean, I think this year I'm closer to all these people than I ever have been, mm. you know? Rob, was there a time when you didn't get along? Didn't get along with yeah. everybody here? Yeah, or specifically with anyone? No, well, Tracy yeah. and yeah, I. Yeah, we, we hate each other. No, it's it's great. You know, um, my my family. I'm from Dallas, and so it's really nice having kind of a little surrogate family out here as well. I mean, we see so much of each other and spend so much time that we've all like become this this family out here, and it's 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 a lot of fun. We all have a lot of fun together, and I think that's really the key to it. And hopefully that comes through on the screen. But um, mm -hmm. I really think if, if you're not having fun, then it's going to come through, and we just enjoy being together and have a lot of laughs. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the truth? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the opposite of everything. <laughs> do, you, do you feel like the, the paternal figure here in this group? Oh, I like being around the kids. Uh, as, as, <laughs> what kind of thing is that? Well, uh, I like being around the kids. Well, you know, I mean, being around the wife and, and uh, whatever you call him here, the <laughs> Domestic or a housekeeper or no, Christopher. Christopher is just one of the guys. You know, I consider Chris one of the guys. And and being around these kids, uh, you know, I had four of my own, and, mm -hmm. and having another chance to to be around youngsters growing up uh, is, is a lot of fun. And uh, with Bryce, he's getting bigger and bigger each year. Tracy's a young lady now. She started as a young teenager, and of course, Rob. Uh, at 33, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, 34, yeah. 34. But, uh, no, it, it's, it's been fun for me, and uh, uh, I mean, we have a lot of fun, we have freedom with the script, uh, we, don't, we don't read what they write, uh, we do, our, do it our own way, and I think that shows in our ratings. <laughs> Hey, you guys deal with situations, how you relate to these television parents, which sometimes you can bring into your own lives, how you relate to your own parents, and you with your kids and vice versa, and you can all learn how to be better kids, better parents, better housekeepers, better all of that stuff. I think so. Better they, friends. Uh, I think Wes takes a better punch than Rob does. <laughs> but no, they're, they're all great. They really are. And Eileen, of course... Uh, is she's, she's, she's been around, and, and uh, she's a trooper. And she's <laughs> what, a, what, wait a, what a wonderful <laughs> statement. I mean, of course, she's I been ask, around. I ask, uh, you know, I, I'm, when I first came here, I was the rookie mm -hmm. of all these people, despite mm -hmm. the fact that they were so much younger. They had done this stuff before. And, yeah. and uh, I mean, to be able to be around Eileen and Chris, and, and uh, they've helped me tremendously. They uh, really have. Uh, listen, I had to audition for this show. They said I was auditioning for the <laughs> network. But I discovered afterwards that I was auditioning for Bob Uecker, who was reading with me and kept looking at me rather strangely as I would read. And I realized, thanks to him, I got the job. It wasn't the network at all. It was Bob Uecker Bob standing Uecker. there, oh, feeding me the lines and saying, yep, he'll do, he'll do. He reads so bad that I think I can manage. anybody in Herman Munster's shoes before. <laughs> I'd love to work with this guy, you know. <laughs> right. Were you intimidated, Christopher Hewitt has a background in theater that reads like like a history of theater. But but he knew nothing. But but he didn't know. <laughs> well, you did Summerstock. Uh, Summerstock. Willie Loman. I, uh, I was Willie Loman's right? understudy in. Uh, oh, well. in uh, Death of a ball player. Yes. Death of a ball player. <laughs> yeah. But you know, Chris was such an imposing figure uh, with it. this with this series. You know, I mean, to play the role of of, uh, of Mr. Belvedere. Uh, as, a, as a guy who could really put me in my place and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the whole family for that matter. But we read with a couple of other people. Uh, who didn't get it? Uh, one was Adolf, Adolf Caesar, uh, okay. uh, who oh, passed away on Fortune. Yes, he was a wonderful yeah. actor, yes. Yeah. Fred Gwynn. So yeah, he knew uh -huh. he kept dancing. I never had a chance yeah. to talk to him. He kept spinning around. <laughs> at the, end, the, the Joker is me, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, Christopher, we're glad you did it. And one of the pleasures for us is the fact that here on this ABC lot, we always see you guys in, in the, the comments. We, we, we kind of feel crowd. related to you and close to you, so we're glad the series and is on best. for a sixth season. So congratulations Thank Thank to you. the Owens family and Mr. Belvedere. Yeah. Saturdays now at 8. That's right. That's right. Saturdays at 8. We'll be back.